Yo, what's going on guys? Mortexer here and I just wanted to do a really, really quick video. I've been playing with this, what I'm going to show you in a minute for the last couple of days because I've got beta access. And I've got to say guys, if you love emulation, you are absolutely going to love this. Retro Arc. That's right. This is no third party plugin. This is actually Retro Arc on Steam. Now the guys have been working on this for the last few months and I had access to the beta to actually try this out. Now they are still doing beta keys so they've just done another big batch today. So if you go over to the website, I'll leave the link below, they will be doing further beta keys I believe. So you may be getting lucky to actually get one. It is first come first serve but anyway, enough of that, let's get on to this. So this is what it's like. It comes with um, 10 emulators at the moment. So normally when you start it up, we're just going to go through it really quickly. I'll show you a couple of things, what you can do and what you need to do to get it set up. So when you get it normally on Steam, if you've got DLC, you'll click on it. And it'll take you to the DLC page and you'll press download. Now this doesn't actually work at the moment. I'm not sure why, just because it's in the beta. So what you need to do, you need to go back, you need to go on to RetroArch Properties. Then you need to go on DLC, you need to make sure all these are ticked. These are all the emulators that come with the RetroArch on Steam. So once you've done that, you're good to go and now we're going to launch it and get straight back into it. So as you can see there, it picked up my Xbox One controller, which I've already got connected. Now, if you're not familiar with RetroArch, I will be doing another video on that to go in depth into what it actually does and what it actually is. But I just wanted to give you a really quick overview of what's actually on here. So as normal, we can load the cores. So these are the various cores that we've got at the minute actually installed and available to us. So Nintendo, N64, Sega and Sony PlayStation. And if you go into settings, we've got a lot of variety of different settings. We've got all the screen, aspect ratio, full mode, output. Pretty much everything that RetroArch has got on the standalone version you'll get in here. So input latency, configuration. We've also got recording, so we're recording, we can record the gameplay on here, on screen display. We've got an overlay, so we can have display overlay on. If we don't want it on, we can take it off. We go all the way to the bottom. We can set the directory where all the ROMs are. Achievements, you know, that'll be something nice to look forward to. So pretty much got everything you would normally get on RetroArch. You set your favourites up, your history, so we've been playing a bit of Tony Hawk, Pro Skater 2 and Doom 64, music, videos, netplay and so forth. And what's great about this as well guys, you are actually able to share play this with your friends. So what that means, if you don't know what that actually means is, if you've got RetroArc and your friend hasn't, or if your friend has, then you can actually load a game up which say they haven't got something like track and field which i used to love playing with my friends and they can actually play that game with you over steam another good game is south park chef love shack if you've never played that game and absolutely love south park go and check it out so that's a nice little thing that they've implemented into this as well as i say it's really early it's beta but let's just show you a bit of content now we're in the n64 folder we've got a variety of different games you know what, let's test some, I don't know, what should we test? You know what, let's test some Duke Nukem out, zero a hour. See, it's going to load it up. It's configured the Xbox One controller to the N64 um, controller, which is always good. And what you're seeing now on the actual recording software looks a lot better than it does on my screen. Hail to the king, baby. And again, guys, if you've never ever played Duke Nukem, you're missing out big time. 
you need to check it out. It's on pretty much every single console. So one way or another, you'll be able to check it out. And just let me know what you think in the comments below if you have ever played Jute Nukem before or even if you played Chef Love Shack. New York is in trouble, Duke. The alien scum have taken over the areas around Liberty Island. Without immediate intervention, they'll get the whole damn city. Your helicopter is waiting. Go kick some of Looking good, pal. Who the hell are you, my evil twin? I'm you, genius. Only back in time. Now hear me. Aliens have traveled into Earth's past to try and change history. I went back and fought them. But my time machine was destroyed, and I can no longer chase them through time. As a result of their tampering, your timeline will experience temporal disruptions. The military of your future should have time travel technology. But how you get there is your problem. But remember, if you don't go back in time and make things right, Earth's history will forever change. And mankind could be wiped out. Well, so much for my vacation time. So that was a really, really quick look at RetroArch on Steam. It is in early beta, so take it with a pinch of salt, but I just want to praise the guys behind this. They put so much work into this, which a lot of people don't really realize. And honestly, bringing this to Steam is absolutely amazing. You know what I mean? I can't um, wait to just see what else they're going to bring into it and put onto it. And for me, this is ideal because I use Steam quite a lot. And it just compacts it and puts it all into one place. So you're not messing about. Um, I don't mind. I've got RetroArch on the PC and I use it quite a lot as well. So, But it's just a nice alternative to have it there. But guys, if you do like this kind of content, don't forget to please like, rate and subscribe. And hit that bell notification button. But also, if you are looking for a retro handheld and you do want to check a couple of these out, I have actually got a review of the Retro Pocket 2 straight down below. And if you've already got a Retro Pocket 2 and you're looking to put some ROMs on it and you're struggling, I've also got a video straight down below now. Also, I am going away next week, guys, on vacation, so I may not have a video out then. So I do apologize about that, but, you know, got to have a bit of rest time. I will try and get one up in the week preloaded so at least we've got something out there i will be doing another video on this just going a bit more in depth into it and looking and seeing what's under the hood it's pretty much going to be same as retro art but just seeing if there's anything different you know how it runs on steam things like that doing performance tests things like that so we'll do a full review on that later on down the line but as i say guys as always stay safe and I'll see you soon.